All right, guys. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of an Arlo Smart Hub. I bought this from Walmart. And the model number is VMB4540. Okay. Alright, so here we go. There's the um, sticker for your window. Here's the brochure with the setup instructions. Alright, let me pull this out of here. Alright. Okay, this is the hub itself. So we got a sync button, we got a USB port for local storage, we got an Ethernet connector, we got your power button, and then we got your reset button. Okay, and then right here we got your status light. Okay, so inside of the box, we got your Ethernet cable, and then we have your power cable. And that's pretty much it, guys. Video, I'm going to be uh, setting up the Arlo Smart Hub. Uh, here, here we go, here's a, here's a Smart Hub right here. Uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, we got to turn to the back. You need to plug in your power cable, and then after that you need to plug in your Ethernet cable. Right, and then you see that your Ethernet cable, uh, the other end needs to go into your router. Okay, so and I'll just show you that. You can see the router is connected on the other end, and your power cord needs to go into the wall. This bad boy has power, and then. Okay. And then we're going to go back in there. Make sure the Ethernet cable is connected, which we do. Okay, she's looking for the Arlo device. Basically, it's searching for the Arlo devices, and it could take a, take a couple minutes. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to fast forward through this part. Alright guys, so I'm back. So basically what it did is it went through, and it recognized that uh, the base station was ready to be synced. Okay, then it's a situation... You have to hold down the sync button, it'll find it, it'll connect, and then uh, last but not least, it will ask you to uh, give your uh, base station a unique name, which I did. I named mine Arlo-Hub-Homebase, and then from there, it will basically go through and it will update uh, the firmware. For the hub and then after that you'll be good to go all right so this concludes part two of the uh, arlo series hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to enable port forwarding on your arlo smart hub or base station I just got a new Verizon router, so I need to set this back up. Uh, this will, of course, enable me to uh, look at my camera's uh, video recordings when I'm away from home and not connected 
to my home network. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Arlo app. We're going to go to devices. Your Arlo hub or base station, select that next. Go into that. Go to the storage settings. Go to local storage settings. All right. Uh, scroll down to port forwarding. You are going to enable it. All right. You're going to, uh, yep. And then here it says enable port forwarding. Port forwarding gives a direct connection from the internet to your Arlo hub. By using port forwarding, you risk exposing your smart hub and the contents of any device connected to it to the outside world. Use port forwarding at your own risk. And we're going to accept that risk. Right. And that's just a disclaimer. So right here, it gives us the configuration for that. So we get an IP address and an internal port and an external port. So we're going to remember that. So we got these settings and now we're going to navigate to our router's interface to sync that up and enable port forwarding with with this configuration. So I'll do that next. OK, so. I'm just going to log into my home router. And then I'm going to go to advanced. And then I'm going to go to security and firewall. And then I'm going to go to port forwarding. OK, so I'm just going to add the rule here to mirror the configurations that the Arlo app gave me. I'll do that real quick. Wow. Protocol is going to be TCP. And then there we go. Selected the hub and the external port. Okay. All right, that looks good. And I'm just going to add it to the list. And then I'm going to apply the settings. OK, so if you don't have Verizon, uh, whatever service you have, it's pretty self-explanatory. Log into your router and in, uh, enter the port forwarding section and then basically enter, enter the configuration. All right, guys, so looking back in the app, you can see that the status now is available, and this is successfully configured to port forward. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to jump on here and uh, make this quick tutorial, you know. So you guys have a nice weekend, and I'll catch you later.